this is a, a real big deal for Kansas City. Kansas City has many positive features. Children's Mercy has long been viewed a jewel in the crown uh, in terms of delivering the highest quality health care. Bringing in a large research component takes Children's Mercy to another level. It also ensures that the discoveries made here that benefit our children will also be spread across the world and benefit children everywhere. One child treated and cured in Children's Mercy will amplify a thousandfold across the world. I came to Kansas City to build a research institute that embodies the interface between science and the clinic. The Children's Mercy Research Institute delivers scientific discoveries into therapies that, that help children. This building will host both the labs and the information uh, technology desks for the people that conduct a lot of that research. But it's really a nexus, a meeting point, where the clinic, the labs, the patients, the families, all individuals involved in the Children's Mercy mission come together on behalf of children. The research conducted in this building is what we call translational research. We translate a scientific idea or discovery into new medicines, treatments, and diagnostics uh, for children. This new building houses many facilities that are going to kind of bring the technology to a much higher level. For example, our genome center now has state-of-the-art facilities to do what we call single-cell genomics and apply this to children's disease. We're one of the first organizations, indeed, anywhere in the world to be doing this. The other facility that we constructed here is called a GMP facility, a good manufacturing practice facility. Children's Mercy has been one of the early collaborators and pioneers with my former institution in Philadelphia in the application of T-cell technologies to the treatment of leukemia, pediatric leukemia. Kids with a certain form of leukemia really had no option once they failed existing therapies. The new treatment involves taking out their white blood cells, engineering those cells to attack the cancer in a test tube, and put them back into the patient. We are currently doing COVID research involving children. This virus is really insidious, and it spreads in a very effective way, more so than many other viruses we've ever worked with. We also have an investigator, Dr. Barbara Pahood, who's already participated in, a pedi in, in, in a, a trials for the COVID-19 vaccine, which we're now considering putting into children. Now, you can't just give children the vaccine based on the adult data. You have to run a trial with children of all ages to ensure that there are no unexpected toxicities. Because as I mentioned before, kids are not little adults, they're kids.